everyone, it is Holly, the Twister Sister, back with another Twister Sister Studios free tutorial for you guys. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make some really elegant looking pumpkins that you can use to decorate your house, add into your organic decor pieces or whatever you wanna do with them. They're beautiful, really grown up looking, and I think you're gonna like them. Now, of course, you can absolutely make these pumpkins in any color you want. I just wanna say that I am loving using a gold chrome or gold reflex balloon as the stem. It just looks really, really pretty. And you could do that with teal pumpkins would be really pretty, some off-white colored pumpkins, anything you wanna do. Um, I would love to see what color pumpkins you guys create. You can post pictures in our free Facebook group this week. I wanna see that place filled with balloon pumpkins. <laughs> So I'm gonna teach you the basic pumpkin. It's really easy. Um, there's a little slightly advanced bit to it, but this is a great design to practice this skill on. So what we're gonna start with actually is we've got a gold reflex balloon. You can also get gold chrome balloons and they work just as well. And I've got a white 260 here that I've almost fully inflated, just left about a one inch tail there. Um, it's about eight full pumps with a dual action hand pump. All right, so the hardest bit on this pumpkin is the stem because I want it to be kind of like crooked, curled over. Um, you don't have to do this part if it's too complicated, but I do really like the way that it looks. So what we're gonna do is like a deep apple twist. Um, so we're actually gonna be sticking our finger inside the balloon. And don't tell me you can't do this because you have nails. Look at these nails, girl. Look, look at them. <laughs> I've got some nails on me right now, but I could still do this. I've done several now. All right, so what we're gonna do, and if you want to lick your finger first, it might make it a little bit easier to get out. If you wanna do that, you don't have to. But you just wanna put your, I like to put my fingernail right in like inside of the nozzle, that little hole in the nozzle, and then you're gonna push your finger into the balloon. And for this one, to get that crooked bent over shape, you wanna push your finger in farther than you think it might go. So right now I've just pushed my finger in as far as it'll naturally go. I'm pushing, touching the tip of my finger here with my other hand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep pushing my finger in. So it's gonna kinda of scrunch up that balloon as we're pushing our finger in there. So it's just getting scrunched up around our finger, that's okay. With our free hand, we're gonna find that knot and our, the tip of our finger and I'm gonna use my other fingers to kind of like roll this back off my, my index finger that's inside so I can gently remove my finger, okay? And so I'm still holding on to that knot and you can see how we have a nice twisted, crooked, perfect looking stem for a pumpkin. So now you wanna give that a twist so that the knot on the inside of your balloon, if you could see it, the knot is down in this section of the balloon, not up here, okay? That's gonna keep it held tight. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some scissors and just go ahead and cut off the end of your balloon. And if they are these chrome or reflex balloons, they're magical. <laughs> you can just cut the end off and they don't deflate. So go ahead and just squeeze that air out of there to get that popped and Get your inflated white balloon that's ready to go, and we're just going to wrap our nozzle of the white balloon right around where we're holding that knot. We want it to, to wrap around up above that knot, so it's gonna lock that knot inside. Okay, so we've wrapped it around about three times, and now I'm gonna do a good double knot around the knot that's inside of our pumpkin stem. If you like to trim off this longer tail here, you can go ahead and do that to get that out of the way. And now we can get on with the rest of our pumpkin making. So I've come up with this design in a way that you don't have to do any roll throughs or three bubble body roll through balloon things. So it's a little bit easier than how I used to make pumpkins where you're rolling stuff through other bubbles and that just causes a lot of friction and tension on the balloon, which can increase your chance of it popping or getting a slow leak later. 
So no roll throughs on this design. So follow along. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do a smaller pumpkin here. If you wanna do a taller pumpkin, you'd use two white balloons and just that way you can get more bubbles in. We're just gonna do the one for this design. So about a four inch bubble or so, about the size of my finger, I guess. Um, and we're just gonna twist that off. Bring your balloon back up, twist it into the top. Okay, I'm always squeezing my balloon out as I go. We're gonna come down, measure it with your eyes, do another twist, the same size as the others. But instead of rolling this through, we're just gonna bring it right on across, right this way. So we had our two bubbles we made first, this is the third bubble we made, and we're just gonna bring it right over the bottom and bring it back up into the top. So measure that with your eyes, make a twist, and right into the top. Okay, so we've got four bubbles so far, looking pretty good, but we gotta fill this out a little bit more. What we're gonna do next is the longer sides of the pumpkin. So you want these bubbles to be a little bit longer than your first four. So I'm gonna bring this down and just kinda see where I want it to hit. So right about here is gonna be where I'm gonna make my twist. And then same thing, we're not gonna wrap this into anything. We're just gonna bring it across the bottom so that that twist gets lined up to the center of our pumpkin. And then up the other side, we're gonna measure, just eyeball it, make another twist. About the same size as this one on this side and wrap that into your <clears throat> top there, okay? So now it looks pretty good, except we've got this gap here on the bottom and we're gonna fix that with this last couple of bubbles. So what we're gonna do next, you're gonna take your remaining balloon, we're gonna pull it straight down the front of the pumpkin. And you want this bubble to be about the same size as the first ones we made that were a little bit shorter, okay? So there's our twist. We're gonna just pull that twist really tight across the bottom and up the back of the pumpkin. And you see how that kind of grabs these two and pulls them up and that closes that gap and that space we had at the bottom of our pumpkin. So go ahead and pull this up and twist it back into our stem at the top. And you should have something like this. The last bubble, the last two bubbles that we made are lined up in the center of our pumpkins. The longest ones are on the outside edges of our pumpkins and the first four are on the inside of our pumpkin. Now, if you have your, um, any nozzles or anything sticking out, you can just tuck them down inside the middle of your pumpkin to hide those and just play with your stem a little bit so you can get it positioned exactly how you like it and think it's cute. Um, these also, if there's, um, if it's pretty tight on the inside and it's really pulling, you can kind of change their shape a little bit too. And squeeze it if you want a little bit more curve or whatever, however you want your pumpkin to look like. And there you have an adorable, elegant little pumpkin that's great for decorating for your fall um, events, decor, just making your house look pretty for fall. I am loving the white pumpkin thing, so I'm gonna be decorating my home with these as well. My favorite thing about decorating with balloons is it's decor you don't have to store. <laughs> so you can decorate for the season and then you don't have to find a box to store it all in for a whole entire year. Just make another one next year. So I'm gonna be placing some little center pieces like this in different places on my tables and end tables around the house. Um, this one, I did a taller pumpkin and then a shorter pumpkin, stuck them together with some glue dots and then also did just a couple of rounds here on the side. It helps them stand up, gives them some support, and also just makes it look really classy and grown up. If you're looking for some nice, elegant decor for your home, this is it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this design, if this is something that you'll be using this year to decorate your own home or decorate for your clients. Um, let me know what you think of the colors and I want to see what colors you guys make your pumpkins in this week. So please post pictures in our Facebook group. I'll be looking for those to hype you guys up for sharing your work. 
We do have pumpkin clip art available on our store. So if you want to put some pumpkins on your menu this fall, um, we do have clip art already available for the pumpkins. Just when kids ask for a pumpkin, ask them what color pumpkin they want before you start just automatically making them an orange pumpkin. And you never know, they're probably going to surprise you. Kids always say the coolest things when you give them a choice. If this is your first time kind of playing around with balloons and making some pretty stuff for yourself and you decide you really like doing this thing, you can absolutely get paid to make balloons at birthday parties, festivals, and events. It is one of the coolest jobs I have ever had, by far the most rewarding and satisfying. Talk about instant gratification. I mean, the look you get on a kid's face when you hand them a balloon and their face just lights up and they smile and they tell you you're the coolest balloon twister they've ever seen. You don't get that at any other job. I've worked a lot of thankless jobs. Balloon twisting is not one of them. So if this sounds like a good thing, a good fit for you, um, a way for you to make some extra income for your family or for yourself with everything being so much more expensive now, I am creating a beginner's course to walk you through how to get started, what you need to know to begin taking parties and events, what level you need to get to before you're allowed to go out there and start marketing your services. The whole course will get you ready from be absolute beginner to ready to party. Um, so that course is coming soon. I do have a wait list. If you want to pop your email address on there, you'll be the first to know when it is ready for you to jump on in. So that is down in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I enjoyed making it and I can't wait to see what you make this week. So we'll see y'all next week for another free balloon animal tutorial. Until then, happy twisting everyone. Bye-bye.